Hey guys, it's Lauren, going a little stir crazy with the social distancing. So I figured I would prepare a meal and show you one of my favorites, which is sushi. Let's make a roll. The fish that I'm going to be using today is the Ciro mackerel. I shot this one last week. It's a great sushi and sashimi fish. Just look at how delicious and delicate it looks. The way that I like to cut it is just against the grain, making small slices, just holding it so that you get these nice little pieces. You can just go ahead and eat these like, like that. Or if you want, you can make it into a roll like I'm gonna show you today. I eat it both. To get started, we're gonna need our rolling sheet that I covered with cling wrap so that nothing gets all sticky. We need some sushi rice and we need some nori. Okay, to get started, you wanna wet your hands. The sushi rice is gonna to stick to them if you don't. Just grab a good chunk of it, put it on the rice, spread it out and push it down. The ingredients that I like to put into my sushi are obviously the fish, some cucumber, some asparagus, lettuce, uh, avocado, and green onion. So let's just dress it here. Just put a layer of everything. I like to press it down a little bit so it has some staying power. Put some avocado. I forgot to mention that I also like to put some masago on there. I just go to my local sushi place and ask them for uh, if they sell it and most of the time they do. If not, you can find a Japanese market and uh, just pick some up there. All right, now you want to put your thumbs behind, your fingers in front, and just roll it over like this. So you roll it over, and then you want to compact it and kind of push it throughout, and then just continue in this forward motion. Keep tightening it up. And then, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but this is what I do. And I put a tiny bit of water here, just to kind of make it stick here. Keep rolling. And then, voila. If you want, if you see how this is like tucked, I mean, it's like sticking out like that. If you want to make it prettier, you can just smush it in like that. Do the same on the other side. Wetting your hands because it gets sticky. Put it in there. And voila, you have this beautiful roll. Now I'll show you how to cut it. In order to cut your roll, you want to have a really nice sharp knife. You want to dip your knife in some water and let the water run down the blade. Then with one or two nice swoops, you just go straight through. You get it like that. Keep re-wetting your knife. Now, I'm going to plate the sushi so it looks very pretty.
All right, let's give it a taste. Look at that. How delicious that looks. Dip it in some soy sauce. I already know it's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Enjoy. Start. Okay, speak. Pretend you're being serious. Hey guys, I just, sorry, it was, don't, <laughs> don't fucking, I ruined it. <laughs> action. But then you're saying action, and it's like. But you're right. going to cut that. I can hear the thing go, so you Yeah, but it's, there's a. But I can hear. All right, let's try this out. Look at that. Look at that beautiful tight roll. Got some dressings on the top. Dip it in some soy sauce. Mmm. No. 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 No.